Welcome back to Midwest Farm Weekly. Kevin Erb joining us now from the University of Wisconsin-Madison Division of Extension with some meetings you will want to get on your calendar. Tis the season, right, Kevin? It definitely <laughs> is. We get into this time of year. Things have slowed down in the field. It's time for farmers and others really to get up to date on the latest in technology and science. And one of the specific meeting sessions you wanted to highlight is for some of our larger farms in the state. Right. Extension and the DNR for the past 12, 13 years or so have done a workshop for the CAFO operators, their consultants, and key staff really to improve communication and we're back live after the pandemic and actually seven locations around the state this year. And there are several of them locally. We will link you up to that on our website. What do we need to do ahead of time? Register? Is there a cost? Yep. So the Thursday before we like to have registration in because we're providing lunch as part of the registration fee or in the case of Manitowoc breakfast. And so we want to make sure we've got enough food for everyone because people are not happy when we don't have enough food at meetings. <laughs> They're farmers. <laughs> they like to eat. We've learned as much. And talk about farms that are maybe reaching this size or have plans yep. to expand and will will need a CAFO permit in the future. Right, so the purpose of the meetings really is to get everybody up to speed on what's new in terms of the paperwork, really to prevent problems because we find that if people don't understand what's expected, it's easy to make a mistake that can get much larger than it needs to be. And so the primary audience is those larger farms that already have a permit, but we do have a number of folks every year that come because they're either thinking, well, I'm at 400, 500, I want to expand in a few years, or I'm right at that threshold and want to find out what's going on without actually having to pick up the phone and talk one-on-one -on -one with somebody at the DNR. We were talking about the importance of networking. Certainly the experts who have prepared comments and can answer those technical questions, but sometimes talking to other farmers is the most beneficial. Exactly. This is an opportunity not only to hear some of the latest information from the agencies, but also the university, but also a chance to talk with other producers who are in that same situation, larger farmers, dealing with that same paperwork, farms looking at expanding to that size. It's a really unique opportunity to do that. Because these farms certainly have some additional things they need to prepare and plan for. One of the key points you wanted to mention was emergency response planning. Talk about yep. the importance of that. So our large farms know the importance of being prepared for a manure spill because unfortunately sometimes accidents happen. But when we look at what's occurring on farms, knowing what to do for other situations is really important. And so this year we're bringing in an expert who can talk to that. But the other thing with a lot of our presentations is not only do we have somebody from the university or the agency speaking, but we've got a group of farmers, manure applicators, crop consultants who are going to be talking about the same thing, sharing their own experiences with those same situations. I love that another topic on here relates to community dynamics, making sure that neighbors understand operations and know that these are also their community members. Yeah, and this is something we've talked about several times in the past, but for three of the locations this year, we're really focusing on success stories. What have local farms done to really improve that communication, diffuse some of those situations, and improve community relations? Well, we look forward to joining one of these sessions. We're going to stop by and get some updates for you, but we hope that you are there as well. As mentioned, you do need to register ahead of time so they have enough food yep. for everyone to enjoy. We'll have links for you on our website in the Midwest Farm section of wearegreenbay.com. Kevin, thank you for being here. Thank you very much.